Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, we'll be recreating yet another amazing animation inspired from a very talented artist named Pixrate. If you check out his Instagram profile, it's filled with some incredible text and typography animations, which looks really amazing. Today, we will recreate this typography animation that I thought looked really cool, and I have used a very interesting technique to achieve the final result. So get ready to learn some really cool effects in After Effects. But before before you start make sure you are subscribed to the channel and press that bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new tutorial which is every single week. With that said let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. A lot of you guys ask me where can we get this really cool transitions and overlays that I use in my videos. So I have made a complete content creator bundle for you which comes with over 200 plus elements that includes transitions, overlays and even sound effects. So grab it today while it's on discount, link is in the description below. Alright guys so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render which is going to be our main render comp. Let's go with full HD that is 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and 10 seconds long duration press OK then select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want I'm going to type in opener for the font I will be going with the go bold link to this font is in the description below and I will make this really big and set this to minus 40 or something let's align this into the center and we can scale this up like so let's go with a go bold high actually go bold high bold regular yeah this is the one that i'm looking for and let's increase the size i can stretch this a little bit like so and it still looks good so there we have our text now let's create another new composition this is going to be a split comp i'm gonna call it a split comp you can call it whatever that you want i'm gonna just call it split press ok and drag the text inside this so first of all a mistake that i did here is we need to put this text inside its own composition so i'm gonna select it press ctrl shift c let's call this um text press ok and I'm gonna control X to cut that up and paste it in the split composition. Okay. I can also turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise here. And then select the rectangle tool and let's create a mask from the center like so. Okay. Now I can select the points on the mask just to be a bit more precise here using the arrow keys. All right there we go and now what we need to do is chain the anchor point to the top to do that you can select the pan behind tool and then hold shift and snap the anchor point right here but i like using this free script which is called anchor point mover this comes with animation composer again that is a free extension and link to that extension is in the description below and after you install that free extension go into windows and there you'll find the animation composer anchor point mover script so just to be a bit more precise, I like using the script and now let's animate this. So I'll press S to bring down the scale property and unlink the scale property. Create a keyframe, go to one second and let's bring that down to zero. Then hold Alt and right square bracket to cut the layer or crop the layer. There you go. And then duplicate this, press Ctrl D. Select the bottom one. Let's go at the very start. Press M to bring down the mask property and invert the mask and then move the anchor point at the bottom like so. So now we have something like this. If I press Ctrl Shift H to hide everything, you can see this is what we are looking for. Then now let's create one more copy. Press Ctrl D and we can change the color of this layer to something like red. So we know it's a different one and press U. Let's press M to bring down the mask property and delete the mask. Let's move the anchor point in the center like so. Select it and press S to bring down the scale property. Let's create a new keyframe and set this to 0. And then go right here at 1 second and set this to 100. Then we need to select the keyframes of this and let's move them one frame forward in time. So now we have something which looks like this. 
an opener. Then I can add a nice color on this. So let's go right here, select this, go into effects and presets, search for fill effect. Let's go with a nice pinkish red tone. Copy this control C and paste it on this one. So now we have something which looks like this. Pretty cool. I can select the layers, hit U to see the keyframes, select the keyframes and press F9 to ease, ease them. All right, now let's duplicate this. So select everything and press control D place them on the top and let's move it right over here. Then let's go right here. This is our end point. Press N and right click and trim comb to work area. So now we have something which looks like this. Now all we have to do is swap the colors. So I'm going to select this color, press control X and paste it on this one, control V and let's remove the color from here as well. So now we have something which looks like this control shift H. So now basically we have kind of a looping animation, which looks really cool. Now let's create that wave kind of an animation, which is super easy to create. So I'm going to create a new composition, call it a wave and let's set the duration of this to 10 seconds. Press OK, drag the split composition inside this and then Let's create a map that is going to drive that animation. So I'm going to press control Y to create a new solid Call this map. It doesn't matter which color it is. And all we have to do is go into effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Let's drag and drop it. And then I'm going to select the white point and place it right over here. And this one is going to go right here. So basically this will be at around 540. And this will be at 540 as well. And this will be at 1920. Okay, so they are properly in position. We can hide this layer. Select the split layer. Right click, select time and enable time remapping. Let's stretch this like so. And then I'm going to add a simple expression on this to make the animation loop. So I'm going to hold alt and click on this top watch and type in loop out. Open and close parentheses. There you go. So now we have a continuous animation. All right. And then on the split composition, I will be adding an effect called time displacement. This is going to help us basically drive the animation using the map that we just created. So I'm going to select the map. And now if I preview this, nothing is happening because we need to change this from source to effects and mask. And now we have this really cool animation. So that is looking really nice, I think. Now, as you can see, it looks a little bit pixelated. So what we need to do is increase the time resolution FPS. So I'm going to set this to around 250 or 300 should be a sweet spot. Okay, so that is looking much better. Now, in order to achieve that smooth rounded edges, what we have to do is add an effect called fast box blur. Let's set this to around maybe five should be fine. And now to bring back the sharpness, I will be using curves. Let's switch to alpha and let's drag this like so. So depending on how smooth you want the edges and I think this looks pretty damn cool. Now make sure to play around with the max displacement. So right now it's set to one. I can set this to around 0.5 that I found out to be a sweet spot and it looks definitely cool but make sure to play around with this so if i set this to four or something you're going to get a really crazy effect so 0.5 or 0.6 is going to be a really nice and sweet spot now the best part about this animation is it's completely driven using the map that we created so if i make any changes to this so if i turn it on for a second and let's say i set this to radial i'll place this maybe somewhere on here and swap the colors now if I preview this, you can see we have a different animation. So you can experiment using this map. You can add maybe a different color gradient and you can create multiple gradients actually to, you know, you can use a four color gradient as well. So I leave that up to you on how you want to experiment. But yeah, that is basically the idea about how the animation is driven using the map. So this is looking really nice. This is a complete base. Now let's give some final touches to this effect to make it look like Pixrate. He has this nice textures that are add on to his effect. So let's do that. I'll go back into my main render composition and let's add the wave comp right here. So there we go. There we have it. Okay. Really nice. 
and then what i'm going to do is add a grunge mask texture that i have here by the way you can download the free project file link is in the description below and then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d let's call this um, inner mask place it on the top and change the track mat to alpha mat so i'm going to select the inner mask here so now we have this nice texture applied onto this but i want to make the edges smoother and the texture should not appear on the edges just to make it look even more smoother on the edge so to do that i'm going to select this and let's add a simple choker and set this to 50. then i'm going to select the grunge mask and let's add a luma key effect on this set this to key out brighter and increase the threshold to around 200. Now I want the texture to be black so I can add a fill on this and let's set this to black color. So now we have this really nice texture and finally it's very sharp so let's add a little bit of Gaussian blur on this. Maybe around 2 should be fine. And as a final touch I will add another overlay texture let's set this to let's set the blend mode of this to screen and bring down the opacity to around 20 25 should be good so now we have a background texture as well and basically yeah there you have this really cool looking text animation instead of after effects and as you saw without using any plugins well we use the free script but yeah it's fine so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you are interested in more such typography text animation then i have a complete playlist ready for you with over 40 plus tutorials that are free to watch so you can binge watch them right now link again is in the description you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out